Good day everyone. Welcome to General Mathematics Learn by Video Series. I am Engineer Melvin John H. Banzuelo. I am a Certified Investment Solicitor or CIS, a license from SEC. SEC means Securities and Exchange Commission, a government body or agency which gives me power to solicit, sell, or offer to sell the shares or units of an investment company to the public. I graduated cum laude in Mindanao State University, General Santos City, and currently I'm taking up Master's of Engineering program, major in Electronics Engineering in University of Southeastern Philippines in Davao City. In this video, we will discuss business and consumer loans. This video belongs to part 2 of general mathematics topics for grade 11. Thus, we will discuss business and consumer loans. Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. In this video, we will solve problems on business and consumer loans, specifically for amortization and mortgage. And all throughout in this discussion, we will give importance of the definition of terms, loan repayment, interest amount, mortgage and amortization, and outstanding balance. These are the important terms to remember before we solve problems involving business and consumer loans. First, we have amortization method. It is a method of paying a loan which includes principal and interest on installment basis, usually of equal amounts at regular intervals. And also we have the mortgage. When we say a mortgage, it is a loan secured by a collateral that the borrower is obliged to pay at specified terms. And also we have a chattel mortgage. When we say a chattel mortgage, this is a mortgage on a movable property. That is a property that is moving. Best example is an automobile. Another, we have the collateral. When we say collateral, these are assets used to secure the loan. It may be a real estate or other investment. Lastly, we have the outstanding balance. When we say outstanding, it means any remaining debt at a specified time. Enhance your knowledge, problem number one. Mr. Go borrowed 2 million pesos for the expansion of his business. The effective rate of interest is 7%. The loan is to be repaid in full after one year. How much is to be paid after one year? So the solution, first the given is P equals 2 million pesos where P is the amount borrowed by Mr. Go and the interest is 7% or 0 0.07 and the period is 1 and equals to 1 that will represent as 1 year. Now F will be the amount paid after 1 year or the future value of money equals to P1 plus J raised to N, N is the present value of the money, which is the, the money borrowed by Mr. Go. Substitute the given, P will represent 2 million, J will represent 7%, that is why we have 0 0.07, N equals to 1. So 2 million times 1 plus 0 0.07 raised to 1. So therefore, F equals to 2,140,000 pesos. Thus, an amount of 2.14 million must be paid after one year. Problem number two. If a car loan of 790,000 pesos requires a 20% down payment, how much is the mortgage? So the solution for this problem is we have the down payment equals to the down payment rate times the cash price. From the problem, the down payment rate is 20% and the cash price is 790,000 pesos. Therefore, the down payment is 
0.20, that is the down payment rate, times 790,000 pesos as the cash price. 0.20 times 790,000, the answer is 158,000 pesos. Again, the down payment amount is 158,000 pesos. But take note that the question is not the down payment amount but the mortgage. Now, in order for us to solve for the mortgage, we will use the formula amount of the loan equals cash price minus the down payment. The amount of the loan equals the cash price of 790,000 and the down payment is 158,000. So, the amount of the loan is 632,000 pesos. Now, the mortgage now, that is the amount of the loan, which is also equal to 632,000 pesos. Problem number three. Mr. Butil borrowed 1.2 million pesos for the purchase of a car. If his monthly payment is 31,000 pesos on a 5-year mortgage, find the total amount of interest. So, the total amount of interest or the total amount paid equals to 31,000 as the monthly payment times 12 months, that is the number of months to be paid, times the 5 years. So, 31,000 times 12 months times 5 years. So, therefore, that is 1.86 million pesos. That is the total amount paid. Then, the total interest equals total amount minus the mortgage amount. The total interest equals the total amount as 1.86 million minus the borrowed amount which is the mortgage as 1.2 million. Therefore, 1.86 million minus 1.2 million, the result is 660,000. Therefore, the total amount of interest is 660,000 pesos. Problem number four, a loan of seven quarterly payments of 8,300 pesos is to be made to pay for a loan at 10% compounded quarterly. Find the value of the loan. Now, the solution is we will use the formula for annuity. So, in the formula of annuity, A equals to 1 minus 1 plus I over M raised to negative N over 1 I I over M. Now, from the problem, the A, that is the monthly payment, this is the monthly payment, that is equals to 8,300. I is the interest given in the problem, which is 10%. Quarterly will represent M equals to 4. And the number of periods is, the number of periods is 7, because as stated in the problem, is 7 quarterly payments and over I 0.10 or 10% over 4. So therefore, the value of the loan is 52,699.94 pesos. Problem number 5. Mr. Carriaso borrowed some money from a bank that offers an interest rate of 12% compounded monthly. His monthly amortization for 5 years is 11,122.22 pesos. How much is the outstanding balance after the 12th payment? So, the solution for this problem, first we need to identify all the given. But first, K equals that will represent as the number of payments paid, in which in this problem we have 12 number of payments paid. Therefore, 60 minus 12, that is 48, since only 48 payments remain. Then, we will find the present value of 48 future payments since there are 48 payments left. So, take note why 48 is because we have 12 times 5 will represent to 60 payments. And then, according to the problem, 12 payments has been made. Then, therefore, we have 60 minus 12 equals to 48. Now, we will solve the present value of 48 
future payments. Again, in this problem, we will use the formula for annuity. So, again, using the formula for annuity, P equals to 11,122.22 times 1 minus 1 plus 0.12 over 2 raised to the negative 48 over 0.12 over 12. Again, why 48? Because 12 payments has been made, so therefore 60 minus 12 equals to 48. Then, P equals to 422,354.73. Then, therefore, the outstanding balance after 12 payments is 422,354.73 pesos. Problem number 6. Mr. and Mrs. Musong purchased a house and lot worth 4 million pesos. They paid a down payment of 800,000 pesos. They plan to amortize the loan of 3.2 million by paying monthly for 20 years. The interest rate is 12% convertible monthly. A. How much is the monthly payment that is resolved for the A value for the annuity formula? Letter B, what is the total interest paid? So the solution for this problem, we will use again the formula for annuity in which we solve the A value. The A is the monthly payment. So the P in the, the formula represents 3.2 million in the problem. I represent 12%. M represent as monthly, therefore M equals to 12. So substitute the given formula, we have 3.2 million times 0 0.12 over 12, and then we have 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.12 over 12 raised to negative 240. 240 is because 20 times 12. That's why 20 times, times 12, that is equals to 240. 20 stated in the problem, Paying monthly for 20 years. Therefore, the monthly payment is A equals to 35,234.76 pesos. Now, the other question is what is the total interest paid? So, we now solve the question number A. Now, let us now solve question number B by using the value or the amount we solved in question or in letter A. So the total payment is 35,234.76 as the monthly payment times the total payment made or total number of months payment made that is 240. So therefore, the total payment is 8,456,342.40 pesos. And the total interest is the total payment minus the mortgage amount so just again, the monthly payment is 35,234. The total payment is 8,456,342.40. And the total interest is the total payment minus the mortgage amount. Then therefore, the total interest is 5,000 or 5 million, by the way, 5,256,342.40. Therefore, the monthly payment is 35,234.76 and the total interest paid is 5,256,342.40. Okay? What we learned so far in this business and consumer loans discussion? We solve problems on business and consumer loans and also we define different terms involving business and consumer loans loan repayment, interest amount, mortgage and amortization, and outstanding balance. For supplementary problems, you may refer to textbook app, General Mathematics, Chapter 5. Thank you and have a nice day.